video. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, God. Good, good, good. We good, y'all. We going live. Whew. All right. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hope you all can hear us. Uh, let me know in the chat. We just had some technical difficulties, so I want to make sure everything is working fine. But good morning and welcome to episode 168 of Grown Women Gaming. We got the usual suspects here today. It's your girl, Delilah HD, and we got Lady Infamous, El Boogie, and Sharice. Um, so I'm just going to start off with intros. Sharice, I'm going to start with you. Tell everybody what you've been playing. All right, it's your girl, Sharice, here. And I've been playing Destiny and Mass Effect. Um, everything else can be cut to the wayside. We don't care about nothing else for now until we beat Mass Effect 3. Um, that's it. That's our life now, from right. now to forever. Right. Are you starting with one? I'm starting with one. I, I, I don't want you to start with one because you're not going to enjoy the story as much and you're not going <laughs> to like the trolls of the Mako. But when you do Wait. play this game, start at Mass Effect 2. I thought that you could switch the controls to Mass Effect 2 controls on this. In this, they uh, they've updated the controls, but it's still not perfect. Perfect. I gotcha. Okay. Um, so it's still better in um, two. But if she does start it too, that means she's gonna have to do more of the story to actually have the good ending in Mass Effect Three. Gotcha. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start it. You better be in the party with me. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you a detailed map. Wait, that's that? right, because Boogie never played Mass Effect. Right? No. Ooh, no, 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 girl, you went for a treat. I know. Yeah, was that the last one? Andromeda. Well, that's no, the last Andromeda one. does not count. That, that don't, don't count. count. Well, look, that don't that, count. that's the one you told me to buy. That's the one you told me to buy. <laughs> and I'm sorry, okay? I apologize. Yeah, you messed that up for, you messed that up for her. You messed that up big time for her. Damn, I'm sorry. It just I, had so many bugs. I didn't mind the other stuff. It just had so many bugs you couldn't play it. Yeah, oh, man, because I'm talking about the, what, what, did, what does it for me with Mass Effect? It's the storytelling. The storytelling yes, right. and the progression is dope. Anyway, <clears throat> so that was Sharice. All right, uh, I'll go, go next. You can go next to El Boogie intro. You know what you've been playing, whole nine. All right, it's El Boogie 008. Um, what have I been playing? Um, I played Magic. What? Another in card game with a lady, and she cheated, but, you know. <laughs> I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that. This is going to be a rematch, so. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, we can. Man. That's all right. That's all right. Look, I play more. I, look, you, look, I'm going to tell you one thing about Magic. Oh, you're going to you gonna have to learn a little bit of everything. All them decks. All them decks. You gotta learn. Is she actually what talking you... to me like, yeah, condescending. Like she's a master, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want. Yeah, like... I saw. I saw she put you on blast on Twitter too. Like you playing with the white cards. Like we don't even know what that mean, bro. Like what, what does that even mean? <laughs> the white deck, that the, really? That's the first deck that on the list. The white color <laughs> deck is the one for you to start playing with. So that's the one I played with. So when we when I started playing with her, that's the one I started playing with. Then she's like, okay, well let's play with a deck we ain't never played with. And then she pulled out the white deck. So I'm like, okay. Because I know the well, I, I know the white deck the least. Sure okay, if I didn't if, if I want to make sure I won, I would have played with the black deck <laughs> instead of I the white she deck. Put, she's saying this like, because, like yeah, it sounds because, weird. Yeah, because, she got because, attitude because, with it. Because, because, you know why? Because black decks do death touch, and um, that's worse than the white deck. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Because at least with life with uh, white deck, you get life link abilities, which means you get more. Uh, life points, but with Death Touch, if you destroy any of my creatures that has Death Touch, it's going. It, you gonna take that heat. You gonna take. I got you. Uh, the but thing is, Boogie's new, so like even as you said, like for, even for me, if I want to get into, I don't know what you talking about with Death Touch. Like I don't know about all that. It ain't my fault. I know I how to play with all the cards. Was she got mad that first game? I spanked that up. That's all right, but I got you on the second round with the red deck, and it was wait. So hold up, pause. So you didn't tell me. Boogie never played before and she beat you though? Yeah. Yeah. Delilah, you should have been in the party while they was playing. It oh, was I missed it. I missed it. Oh, <laughs> Ow, my. Okay. All right. Fine. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, don't right. worry, we're gonna have a rematch. I'm gonna practice. That's right. That's all right. Well, well we gonna we gonna we gonna like ban decks now because we can do that too, and I ain't got no problem. Oh I ain't got no problem. We can we can we can, we can ban decks. We can ban decks. I have no problem. I play I play magic too long. I know the basic magic stuff. So we can ban decks. Whatever you want, El Boogie. We got it. We got it. Okay. Anything else you want to add, El Boogie? You know, especially what else you've been playing. Uh, other than that, I played Destiny, you know, a new season came out this week. Yeah. Uh, I started playing that, but Destiny, honestly, they, they don't care. For real. <laughs> Do you care they, to elaborate real quick? Because I don't, I don't have this like, one of my topics, so. Okay, so they're, like, essentially trying to make, they're, they're squeezing this turnip dry, put it like that. Mm. Like, 
the things you have to do, so the big thing this season is to be able to, like, customize your, your character, like, as much as possible. Like, people are making, like, stormtroopers, like, everything. There's, like, all kind of things. Yeah. But in order to do that, you have to, like, save the fucking world ten times. <laughs> wow. I want to say ten. Maybe, maybe a good eight, nine, maybe. Okay. So the one for me, the me and Sharif are doing right now, it's, like, you got to do the uh, nightfall and mm-hmm. you have to get 200,000 points like not con- not only one go yeah. but you have to get up to 200,000 200, points we did the nightfall on the easiest setting we played it what four or five times and got to 100,000 basically yeah so you, got, you basically have to do nightfall 10 times mm-hmm. and nightfalls are the hardest one that one bounty yeah, yeah. And nightfalls heard, are the hardest things I can't I heard that in Bottle Glass some turkeys is gonna be like the main. Uh, I gotta see what this turkey shit. thing y'all keep talking about. Oh, you don't know the turkeys yet? No, I don't. I don't. You gonna hate them? Yeah. Yeah, they some bitches. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like Destiny is just they just trying to like squeeze every ounce out of each other. Like I don't want to have to keep doing the same shit over and over and over. Like just give me the story. story. All right, Boogie, you sound a little low. You sound a little low. I fix it. Sorry oh, about that. that. Thank you. It's all good. <laughs> you're not, yeah. you're like, okay, mm-hmm. perfect. It's yeah, perfect. you know I had my thing up. I had my I had my mic up and didn't realize it. But yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, they okay. they gonna piss me off if they keep doing this shit. Yeah. So you saw the milking and the turkeys and all this stuff that I haven't gotten. Yeah. Well, the, so you know the turkeys Delilah, have to deal with. Maybe. Yeah, but they they gave them more. They made they they were already op and they made them more op. Oh, wow. And then um, you know how the last. I want to say three seasons, Delilah. How they give us a tool, you got to yeah. upgrade the tool. Yep. They're keeping that going. They gave us a new tool now, and we got to yeah. keep doing. Gotta yeah, so it. basically the same shit. Like I don't want to have to keep doing the same shit over and over. Find a different process for us to get to the end point. Yeah. I mean, so do you like? Because I'm showing. We actually showing a little bit of gameplay on mm-hmm. uh, on stream. So do you like the new level though? With the with the whole going into the Vex area and, and finding some of the. The modified vex and stuff like yeah that. yeah that was pretty cool but like yeah. i'm about to have to do that for like 20 weeks because yeah you don't <laughs> see it over and over again i get you right i got it, I got it. all right <clears throat> cool 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 anything else that's it i think so all right all right i'll okay. stop talking <laughs> no, it's all good all right lady what's up um what you <laughs> okay control, so what you been playing you already know you already know what it is Kalina Claymore, aka Claymore at the Doe. Uh, hmm. I played some Row Company last night. It was hilarious. I was playing with Stitch and Carnage, and it, <clears throat> it's season two, excuse me. It's season two. So we played a couple of games of those. It was pretty fun, you know. It was yeah. a good coordinated team in Row Company works wonders. I bullshit you not. Um, also, uh, as we were t- talking about before, me and El Boogie play some magic. I I can't wait to play with her again. It's like for some reason, me and El Boogie are really competitive. Mm-hmm. And oh yeah, so, I know. So <laughs> I mean, we all so, are really, really. yeah. <laughs> but I know I know she wants to she wants to she wants to spank my ass. I can tell how she was talking to me this morning. I'm ready. Um, don't worry. We'll, okay. I, we'll, we'll okay. Just... <laughs> All right. Don't be showing off the company now. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. oh, man. Right. Okay. <laughs> I remember that. I got you bad. Uh, anyway, I had fun. Oh, oh, look. Magic is a good game, and it's very... Uh, I, I really enjoy that game. And for me to have at least someone to play with me instead of, like, playing by myself is very good. And Myth Magic Arena, you can do that as well. It's free on mobile uh, and PC. Yeah. So you can always play it if you've got your magic fix. There it is. I mean, I think they did a really good job with the updated version of Arena versus the first time I played it at Discord headquarters, like, a few mm-hmm. years ago. So, um, also, I was playing... Shaolin versus Wu Tang. Um, it's a fighting game, and the characters are based on fighting styles from old throwback um, kung fu movies. So you saw like um, Chuck Norris, Jim Kelly, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan with the dungeon, uh, with the drunken master. Yeah. You had the old dude. I forgot his name from Kill Bill, the one with the long chin, with the white long chin who trained uh, BB. That dude's in there with his fighting style. It's like 30 characters. So um, 
I was like, you know what? It was $13.99. So I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So then I checked the achievements and I was like, oh, okay, I can do these. But they want 100 consecutive uh, wins. I said, nah, bro, I can't do that. Uh, but yeah, yeah. But it was it was fun. Um, it Man character, his fighting style, the Wing Chun, mm -hmm. I think that was that was i think that's my favorite so far that's your main, um, are you main in that one that's uh I, I think he a main now he a main now i only did like i still got like 26 uh characters to go through but right now he's my main um enjoyed it enjoyed it you know i the Ooh. buttons are very simple no spe nothing special and uh last time i least i played resident evil 7 i am at the factory right now so we are really close to beating the game gotcha. i again do not have enough resources to survive uh -oh. so yeah i gotta when i load up i'm gonna have to sell stuff that i don't even use in or get some bullets because they're not giving me no more bullets they're not giving me no like resources to craft no bullets and it's a problem they and for me so i'm like yo i'm about to so you so you basically saying you went in unprepared basically. yes gotcha exactly <laughs> so i have to think about how i'm going to complete this game unprepared because i can't go back gotcha. i'm too yeah that's okay. all i've been playing well, i mean as i mentioned before this is the um, Del delilah hd the host for the day and i've been playing uh destiny i'm pretty early in the process of, of the grind this is the new season just started and um fantasy star 2 new genesis beta dropped a couple days ago and i've been playing that um and i'm loving it it's pretty 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 fun all right y'all so let's go ahead and get these shout outs you want to get shout outs real quick i got you i got you it, it's gonna be we, we people been waiting uh other zeke first one first one first. calvin first he, he he wanted to be known that he was first gotcha. good morning <laughs> we got calvin we got back from the dead we got pilo chilling in his car with the sunroof top good morning to you we got l tuck in the building michi's dial out we got monica s hey girl i see you good morning yes, yes. what's up Calvin uh again. Oh yeah, Calvin been in here for the longest. Uh Ray G4. You know our, our favorite troll. You know, you got the troll pass over here with us. Um <laughs> El Tuck, um, Sinister Tario, other Zinc again. Oh, I gotta find new names. Tony Bryan, you are new. Good morning, and uh welcome to Grown Women Gaming. You got Lady Foxfire. Me... Yeah, Lady Foxfire. Um I don't ATL shot it, Mr. Hey. Kima. Mr. Kima in the building. Oh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. That's all I got with the uh with the yeah, shout outs. Yeah, we appreciate it. So let's get to these topics. First one on the docket, we got oh man, y'all. This one's <laughs> this was uh Google says Stadia is alive and well. Mm. So uh what y'all think about this? Man, that's some cap <laughs> that's cap. <laughs> well, they have to cap for it because it's their product. But we that no. Are y'all? Do you all no. see? Can you see yourself? Dang! Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, you know, set it up. You know. Oh my bad, my bad. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. My bad. No. <laughs> let me get it out. But uh, so it's for Stadia. I mean, last we heard, what they are, they are, they changed their approach to Stadia. Basically, they at first they had like studios. They was trying to go the first party or route, kind of like what Microsoft and what Sony is doing, having their own set of studios. It's going to make exclusive content for it. But now they uh, essentially like switch focus, and it's going to be um, still providing that service, but also licensing the tech to other other uh, companies and whatnot. Possibly they now that all of it. Obviously, all of this hasn't been fully kind of flushed out yet. You can just kind of tell what the way it's going. But do you see a, a world where Stadia um, can rebound from like recent history of shutting down studios and making changes? Uh, just kind of want to get some. How what you all? How you all feel about Stadia in general? And can you see yourself, um, you know, jumping back in? Or if you ever tried it, did you enjoy it? Anybody? Jeez. I'm probably gonna stick with Amazon, to be honest. Oh yeah, how is that term coming out? Luna. They still need to put. They need to put more games on it for sure. But so it's easy. It's pretty easy to access and to run games. It's pretty smooth too. Um, if I have to say, it's a little smoother right now than XCloud. Ooh. But Ooh. I mean, I have to say, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> in my experience so far. But um, what was gonna say? Um, that could also be because my PC is. Uh, 
hardwired to the um, Ethernet. Sure. And my iPad isn't, you know. But um, they need more games. But I don't trust Google. Like, all they do is they're just a data center. Like, all they want is to gather data. That's it. Like, Google Stadia is not going to be around forever. They're going to gather as much data and then sell it. So, for you, it's more of a trust thing. Like, you're like, okay, it's cool. It can be live and well, but don't. You know. Well, I just don't see. I don't see them nurturing it for long term. You know what I mean? So why invest when I already know you're going to drop it like a bad habit? Oof. Google Plus, anybody? Anyway, let's move right? on. Right? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, right? Like Google Plus, uh, what was their social thing they started? Was that Google Plus? That was Google Plus, yeah. Yeah. Well, like, that's always uh, one of my like a examples. Blip. <laughs> yeah, because it's so, it was like, it's here and it's gone. Like, it was right. Just, they just like quietly slid it off the table like, mm. <laughs> and then they they downsize. We use Hangouts for our stream, and it's crazy because mm-hmm. like they downsize Hangouts too. Um, you know, they rebranded it. I thought to, it's like not called Hangouts anymore. It's called Google Meet. Yeah, they trying. Yeah, because they wanted to make it more business focused. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was part right. of it. I mean, um, but again, you see, many people aren't using it because again, all they doing is data. Is strange. Anybody else got anything to add on Stadia? Then I mean, I don't want to speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, I'm not gonna. I'm okay. I'm gonna be real. I'm keeping a bug. Look, personally for me, I don't care. <laughs> but, but but you gotta. But they, but they're trying. But they're trying. Um, I feel like they should have had like put their foot in more. Like maybe a few years ago, mm-hmm. it's not like Google just got money and they just want to do video games i feel like their initial approach um was not strong enough to compete with the other companies microsoft sony and nintendo you know what i mean especially and and especially pc and i also think that they didn't really understand with stadia it really it, it really wasn't about the games it was really about how strong your connection was because you're playing on your browser, right? So if you don't have the strongest, if you don't have like bare minimum connection requirements, um, then you won't be able to play the games that was on there. And most of the games that they had was something that it was somewhere else at another platform. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to spend, I know people spend day one bundle packs and stuff and they like paperweights now. They, at one point at time, they were giving this out, the, the hardware for free. So also there's another like layer of like a bill, like you got to pay for the service. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, if you can't, if I'm paying for a service to play video games, I got to make sure that wherever I go, my internet is on fire. Like, you know, that I can be able to play these games, which I won't. You won't be able to have fire internet all the time. Also, you got to have a a diverse collection of games. And I don't want to play a game on Stadia that I can play on my Xbox or my PlayStation. You know? And I just think their approach was it all wrong. I think they should have had, like, a focus group or a group of people or, or, or a team to like mark, to find a good way to market, a, a, find a good way to have, you know, steps to introduce Stadia in a better way that they did. But now at this point, like how, how, what can they do to fix it? I don't know. And they got to have like a brand new IP or some, even with that, even if you have a brand new fire ass out uh, IP, if my internet can't, if my hotel internet can't support it or, you know, I'm out and about because I'm sure I'm not going to use Stadia at home because I have everything else. So, but yeah, uh, I, that's a that's a mouthful. But yeah, <laughs> it's it's a, it's I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still not I'm still not like I'm not itching to go to Stadia at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm gonna pivot from Stadia since you know we we kind of all on the same page. I don't really have anything to add. When it comes to Stadia, I, I mean, I, I've played it maybe one or two times, and that was about it. You know, a lot of my stream activity is from uh, Xbox Game Pass. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't really have too much to add to it. I just thought it was interesting that they put the statement out saying, oh, yeah, you know, Stadia is alive and well. That, that's why I said it's cab. That's like me saying, you know, <laughs> that's, that's like equivalent of me, like, 
insane if I was like in a relationship and I know it's bad, but I'm gonna tell people, hey, you know, me and my boo, we cool. We everything's we good over here. Good. But you know, it's it's totally the opposite. It's totally the opposite. You so it's not I don't think it's cool. They just saving face right now. Because when you're at a point when you're giving away your day one, like the the controller and the little circle thing, and you're giving it away, that lets me know that there is a problem inside. You don't give away hardware. You don't. Yeah. All right. All right. So next on the thing, you know, this is this is this next topic has been kind of ongoing ever since it, it kind of started, and that's the whole um, Epic versus Apple uh, thing, you know, and what's going on with there. It's crazy because it seems like every other day we're getting a new bit of information that drops from this whole thing. And, and if you don't know like the history of like why this is happening, it's basically Epic tried to subvert a thirty percent commission. Um, from Apple and, you know, had some whole issues. Apple then pulled the uh, uh, Fortnite from the store, a bunch of back and forth. Epic dropped a 1984 anti-Apple video. And this, they both declined to go to a trial by jury, but it's just been a, a battle, you know, in and out. And then, like, things has been dropping as a result. And, like, information has been dropping as a result of all this. So I don't know if you all had a good chance to kind of read it. So it's pretty lengthy the update they had this that released this week. Um, so I don't know if you all had a chance to kind of read through it and kind of understand where it stands today. But I wanted to get your overall opinion on this. And who do you? And right now, who do you think is winning? Because I think for me, when I look at the the article, it's like it seems as if Apple is winning. You know, just from it seems like every other thing that I'm reading, it's, it's like Epic has done something. It's just a clear breach of contract type thing the more and more I see the more and more I read about this um yeah I agree mm -hmm. and I think I said it last week it's going to be kind of hard for you to to basically win a trial where you're basically saying I want to sell my merchandise in this store but I don't want to pay them pay to you. sell my merchandise right. exactly. in this store exactly. like uh, it's going to be kind of hard for you to do that and like you said it's a breach of contract because they they knew that they weren't supposed to do it and put in an update to circumvent their process yeah so, and it doesn't help their case that they that they pay that they pay sony for right for cross right and yeah you know, so it's like you're out. willing you're willing to pay to have yeah. your game operate the same way on this platform so why not on this one yeah. you know you basically have already created um what they call it precedence yeah, yeah. you know it, by it doing seems, that i i mean it just seems cut dry but you know who knows what's gonna happen because it's they've been, right. this, this thing has been drying you know being drawn out a little bit um and then it's like little things keep releasing it's just all just like news you know they put it out it's just game industry that big it's like you can go and check out read the whole transcript kind of thing a cool like summary of what's going on with this in the, in the gaming industry and it's interesting because the way they got each one of these these instances labeled out it's like epic did this epic did that it's like it seems as if right. super one-sided and it makes uh what's the guy who owns epic who owns epic tim sweeney just looks like a jerk like i hate to see it like that yeah. that's what it looks like it's like he's just a jerk and he it's all about money you know that's what it seems like but, i know the um, part that was funny to me is that it, i guess they said when they did start the first day they didn't mute everybody listening in so then they had like 20 minutes 20 minutes of fans saying uh free Fortnite. yeah <laughs> <laughs> like i don't get this like That's how are courts crazy. not ready like yeah right, right. but I mean, you know and it's interesting because as a fan you can just look at it, it's like, dang, you know, Apple is not allowing us to play Fortnite on Apple. Like that's how, as a fan, that's all. That's what you see, mm -hmm. but you you don't see the breach of contract part. Like, okay, reason why we're not putting that game on there is because they actually breached their contract, and because they don't want to pay us thirty percent on, on right. commissions like everybody else, you know. So, and Epic's making the whole monopoly argument. It's like, okay, this thirty percent commission is higher than every other store, so they're gatekeeping basically with this cost and it's expensive. But it's like now with Fortnite, uh, you could afford it with the billions that right. you can on Fortnite. So it's crazy. Yeah, like the back and forth money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's I don't like see how much more money you want? How much more money do you want, basically? But go ahead. Yeah, I don't honestly to me, I think both of them are in the wrong. And just um because the same thing that they're stopping Epic from doing, Roblox already does. So if you're mm -hmm. gonna like be fair to both of them. I think someone brought um, that up, didn't they, in the court? 
Yeah. And yeah. so and so because of this, Roblox has started to change their language that they don't offer multiple games in their service. They just mm -hmm. offer different experiences mm -hmm. and they're not technically considered games. Mm -hmm. So which is completely bullshit because they are games. Right. Um, so I don't it's like if you're gonna if you, to me it's all about fairness. If you're gonna do one one way, you gotta do the other ones the other way also. Um, so what's the difference? Like that's my what's the difference? If you're gonna do one one way, you gotta do one the other way. Yeah, keep it's it fair. Just, and that's why I say this is my epic. It's just too many examples. Like it's just way too many examples with this. And another thing too, like and that and this kind of rolls into the next topic because of all this, you know, is this this some of this information has to be put out publicly? Because of this, though, the FTC is now looking into uh, how Epic is handling children's information. Mm. You know, like you know, that was the second topic. If y'all, if you look at the like the list I sent y'all, like it's like now it, this thing has opened up a can of worms. You're here, yeah, like, you're they seeing might get emails. in trouble. Yes, you're seeing like all kind of stuff. This is coming from this whole thing. Because it only takes like for, and I'm sure it's not going to be one, but it only takes for one child that you know to be on there without the right permission. yeah i mean because re yeah because and i know i know it's there it's there oh yeah and it's time you just get a phone and like just click next 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 and you're in like right right it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a problem it's i think i think yep. this can draw out though i think with the ftc now looking into that it could also draw this whole case out too so it's it's gonna get i mean i didn't expect for this to be resolved quickly but i think it's gonna be even longer than what we what we're seeing now <sighs> Um, and it's crazy because a lot of companies that's been pulled in to kind of testify and stuff has has had to like redact documents and stuff before they send yeah. them it's, it's just a lot. It's so messy. Um, I, I wish they make a telenovela, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> About the gaming industry? And no, that's no, thing. just Epic versus Apple. Just That could be the, oh, could be the pinnacle right there. You know what I'm saying? Just this court case? I don't think that's people realize just how secretive video game the video game industry is until so this court case yes. started. Um, yeah. Like the lot of said, we're never redacting the, the records. Like on the first day, they released all of it at one time. And then like, it was so much information, but then they slowly had to take it all out and then start erasing stuff and then release it slowly back in. Yeah, because like, you got, you got uh, exclusive property, electric uh, uh -huh. IP that's not even out yet. And they're talking about deals they made years ago that's coming to fruition now. And it's like, you got so many other companies involved and these are not small companies. These are uh, like top fortune, top five. and. So it's it's crazy and yeah. So it's just it's just messy. That, that that's the only word I can use for to, to kind of sum up this whole thing. Um, and as gamers, only thing we want to do is play our games, right? Like that's it. Like just just let us play our, our Fortnite on our iPad and on our <laughs> iPhone. That's it. <laughs> so hopefully, you know, in the end of the day, the gamers will win, and this this will be kind of a, a thing of the past. But I, I just think that I can easily see that epic end up just you know it's gonna go through all of this everything's gonna get exposed and at the end of the day epic's gonna have to pay a fine and then you know move on and figure out something but man do you think epic that epic cutting throats though i i yeah they they are here they they trying to be dirty and didn't even you know sweep get the dustpan and sweep that up you know what i'm saying you can't you can't like not give apple a percentage that's what every game does on apple every right store does that every store has a split you know it's like um i think i think um epic store like their store they have a developer split they do as well they do i think it's like 88 percent goes to the developer and then um what is it 12 percent go to epic for the for their like you know unreal developer store you know game releases and stuff that they have for the epic store uh, microsoft and recently matched that you know so they have they also do the 88 percent goes to the developer and 12 percent goes to microsoft and so right now as it stands apple has the most expensive split like they they take what 30 percent so it's a 70 30 split i think um, and even Steam has a pretty uh, expensive split too. They take a good a chunk of the of the cost um, when a game is sold on that platform. So, yeah, it, it's we'll see. I mean, I, I think all of this though, by it being exposed like this, could make put everybody on an even playing field because we don't. I mean, even with all this information that's released out, it's like as people listening and as general public just on the outside watching all of this. We don't. We still don't know what the outcome is gonna be just yet. Like we don't know if the court's gonna be like, okay, oh, yeah, you gotta cut your commissions. 
because it's it's it's, it's unfair to the rest of the industry. The rest of the industry doesn't bring in thirty percent for that. And then you can also have them say, well, Fortnite is already making a ton of money, so you go, you all can afford the commission. Stop playing, <laughs> you know. Um, so, but, but we'll see. And I, like I said, this is gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be drawn out even longer than what we what we're doing. Shout out to them lawyers because they about they the only they ones that's gonna get paid. They, they probably they get, get paid. Yes, for sure. They gonna get they gonna get delays and delays, and this ain't even <laughs> on time. And we need an extension. Rack the money up, lawyers, because this is this is what it is. It's gonna they're gonna settle out yeah. privately. And, yes. And see, and Epic's argument is like they're they're trying to put it as if like they're fighting for the people. Like you know we. You know, it's like, uh, yeah. Of course, you find with the people you want. You want to make money on that platform, basically, plain and simple. And it's like any other store. So it's it's an interesting thing. All right, anything else you all want to add to this, uh, as far as the, this uh, the Epic versus Apple? Cash rule everything around them. Cream, get the money. <laughs> get the money. <laughs> dollar dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> That's what it is. I want some. I just want them to make a telenovela. I, it's, it's, I just want. I wonder them. if somebody's gonna do like a, a. You know how they people make those little um, videos on YouTube that kind of sum up the story and stuff like that with fake characters and whatnot. I wonder if somebody's gonna do that. Like just do like you said a, a little episode of. Yeah, they still writing it now. If she speak, it'll take forever. <laughs> oh man, yeah. We're gonna see a dog on Fortnite documentary after a while. Anyway, it's gonna. Explain. It's gonna be it's gonna be an Apple documentary about their success with uh with the case with uh mm -hmm. Epic and then they gonna make it into they gonna make it to a commercial and get paid some more. <laughs> yeah. do, do you all see uh this is just a, this is a general question? Do you all see um Fortnite falling off? No, at all. Yes. Uh, <sighs> like for instance, ten years from now, do you see people still playing Fortnite? Yes. Yeah, I don't know if ten yes. years from now, but. I don't know. I know that that is their bread and butter, so they better right. figure out how to keep it going. Okay, five years from now, do you see people still playing Fortnite? Like that's what I'm saying. Yes. Like, yeah, it's I, they keep it fresh with the skins and the partnerships that they get. Like, I almost jumped back in when they had that um Black Panther um skin. I don't even know nothing about Fortnite. I just wanted that skin. Um, yeah, I do do that occasionally. I will see, hop in and grab skins and hop see? back out. See? <laughs> but that's it though, Boogie. Like you hop in for just that, then you bounce, right? The thing mm -hmm. is, it's like I don't, I don't know. This is just me, opinion, opinion, straight opinion. I don't see this lasting, you know, too much. And this, I think, this is why Epic has been acquiring other studios with the type of same uh, uh, service-based games. You know, like you know, your uh, they got Rocket League. They also got Fall Guys. So I mean, I think that's why they have that. Those I they acquire those IPs because if. If Fortnite falls off, like if, if all of a sudden a lot of these gamers, you know, they five years from now, because I, I tell you, my nephew, I've been using him as like a barometer, and he is like, you know, you know, he likes Fortnite, and but he's kind of growing out of it. You know what I mean? He likes to play it, but he's kind of growing out of it. So it's like it's a generation that um, after him are gonna be just as into it as heavy. You know, it, like does it have the Minecraft effect? And so it basically, it's, it's the best way I could. I could put it is you know is it still gonna be one of those mainstream based games that is a, you know a cash cow that will never fade I think every industry I mean not every industry but most some games get like franchise fatigue after a while right and so I'm I'm wondering that if in five years you know Fortnite will hit that franchise fatigue mode and because how long has Fortnite been around first of all you Not that long. Like four years. About four it's years. It's gonna be. It's gonna be longer than four years. I was gonna say five, maybe six. Really? It's been around that long. Well, remember they came out with their um, the world one first, and then came out with the multiplayer and left the world one behind. And it's still in beta. I think that's the funniest part. Like, how are you still in beta? But Fortnite's still in beta. Mm-hmm. Interesting. A, a big yeah. old beta sign comes on every time you log in. Oh wow! So it's a forever beta game. Okay, it came right. out. Initial release was July twenty first, twenty seventeen. Wow, I, th I thought it was. Wow. Okay, okay. So yeah, it's it's still it's still fairly young. Like that's what I, that's, I think that's where I'm going with this. It's like I, you know, is it? I mean, is it like Call of Duty? Like Call of Duty, I don't see Call of Duty. I see Call of Duty changing over time because they release those games, you know, annually. But 
it's like I don't I don't know I just see the formula for the for like Fortnite formula if it can't keep up with the times that it can fall off that's just my that's just my thinking but then I could be wrong I could be completely wrong and it could just already be solidified in the industry and people continuously play it and generations all you know going forward will continue to as well so who knows all right I'll pivot so I'm talking about Fortnite <clears throat> but anyway <laughs> Uh, I know you all saw this because it was a kind of a big of a a, a bit of a Twitter thing battle, but you know between the the fanboys or whatever over <laughs> over Sony releasing two new controllers. Uh, so, and I think it was also mentioned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna couple these together. It's also mentioned <clears throat> that they have 25 first party PlayStation 5 games in the works, uh, with half of them being exclusive to the platform. So. Um, they released the, the two colors that they're dropping is the black, you know, the, the all black uh, PlayStation 5 controller and also this pink, hot pink kind of looking controller. They said it's cosmic red. Cosmic it's red. Oh, pink. it's red. It looks pink though. It looks pink. I thought it was, I thought it was red. Oh, dang. Are you sh- this is cosmic red, yeah. It says cosmic red. Maybe it's red. I don't know. It look On my screen, it looks pink. I don't know. Uh, it could be red whatever so my, my thing is how do you all feel about these controllers are you copying and um about and also just if you don't have anything to mention on the controllers go ahead and talk about the the 25 games that's in development and what do you like to see from from them in these in these games that, that they're supposedly working on i'll go first um the the controllers okay i don't have a ps5 but i will i my eye went towards the black one because i that's like what i want i i want to have like a black yeah, i wish the console uh, was black too like i don't yeah black. you know you start with the black controller holy holy moly here's a black system yay and then you know <laughs> but um because I mean it's okay you don't have controllers I mean we've been had controllers so it's, it's it's not a big of a deal for me about the controllers uh, the IP though uh, I just hope one of them are like Bloodborne too man Bloodborne isn't Bloodborne. it like isn't it- is this like isn't a Souls game? Yeah, isn't like, Bloodborne? Oh well, no, never mind. But she played that. She liked that. So you know, the Bloodborne she played because I think I watched her play that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It, to me, it's like this, it feels. I don't know. Personal opinion. I have to always feel like I gotta say that. Personal opinion. <laughs> but um, it's like it's like uh, Sekiro Shadow Dot Shadows Dot Twice and um, the Dark Souls series to me. So it's like. I, that formula is, is fantastic. I mean, it's great. It's, it's addicting. But how much? How many of those can they do though? Like that's I, that's where I'm at uh, on that. Thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna get that today. Shakira died twice, and what I'm gonna do is not play with my Elite controller and just play with the regular one, because because <laughs> I'm not trying to lose it. Because I, I with my first Elite <laughs> controller, I played Dark Souls three, and that right trigger is gone. Is yeah. gone. So uh I mean so I'm like okay um I'm I'm excited hopefully by the time I get a PS5 I can be able to enjoy these ISPs. Sure. Um it's good that they have their own too as well, you know. And I hope that they they show out when they when they you know drop those trailers and stuff. Like but but the one thing that's on my list right now, I need Bloodborne 2. It was just too good of a game when it, it, it for me I think a lot of people enjoyed it after it got released and as me I, that game was free on playstation 4 Which game so I, it? Bloodborne, bloodborne was free okay yeah all i did was bought the dlcs and that was about like 20 bucks but i really in like one of the best games i played on playstation it was bloodborne so my heart is like Please, Bloodborne 2, please, please, please. And you've never played Sekiro. That's ba- you never played Sekiro, yeah. Sean? No, but I, I will very soon because I think it should be on sale now. It shouldn't be you no know, $60. So yeah. I might, I'm going to check the price and I might cop it today just yeah, to I, add on the rotation. I actually, li- I actually like Sekiro better than Bloodborne. Um, I, just as far as, to me, the gameplay is a little bit more fast. It's faster. It's a little bit faster. And so, I, I mean, it's just as difficult. It's a very hard game, but. And also, you'd like the timing on Sekiro is insane. Like your timing got to be impeccable. Um, but I definitely like it better than Bloodborne. So ho- hopefully, once you check it out, you say you're copping it, 
Yeah, this, I, I'm, def- I'm gonna ask you next week, like, yo, what you think? Because I know you, I know that's you, your type of thing, so I'll check in with you on that one. Monica says, uh, Monica S says they need to stop worrying about colors and fix the drift on the PlayStation controller. The stick uh, drift, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <sighs> well, <oof. laughs> but yeah like i said a good I, I so i'm what i'm expecting if they got like all those ips in the in the pocket they I, we should see a teaser of something mm-hmm. but 25 though like that's that's expensive that means you know? that means you got teasers ready to go that's mm-hmm. what the, you're not gonna sit here and tell me you got 25 um you got 25 um games that y'all about doing you ain't got no teasers for e3 2021 I don't want to hear it. Yeah, because I don't think they were. They have. I don't even think they've been. A, um, they're they're the only ones that's not in the list. When you look at the E3 publishers list, Sony is the only company that's not there. I think them and um, I want to say EA because the EA Play was announced uh for July 22nd. So I was gonna touch on those a little bit later, but there Sony is not on that list. So I mean, clearly they they like they're gonna have some headroom to be able to talk about the games. Those twenty five games, you know, if, you know if that is the correct number. I mean, this is all hearsay, right? So I mean, I don't I don't know if that was officially announced. I think it was like an interview that a Sony mm-hmm. exec did or something like that. Right. So we should be expecting a super duper special E three edition state of play, <laughs> maybe about four five games because they didn't they didn't they didn't do nothing the last couple of years. They really didn't. After 2017, they ain't did nothing. So I, I see. I disagree because like they they had uh, Miles Morales. They got Ratchet and Clank coming. Like they they got stuff the, only one I, the only one the only one I rocked with was The Last of Us Two, which was Basura. And then I played Miles Morales. And I'm glad I didn't play the Spider Man game because if I would have played the Spider Man game and then played Miles Morales, I would have would have got my feelings hurt. Yeah. So I said, you know what? Let me just. Let me play as let me play Mom Morales. That's my first Spider-Man game, and I enjoy the experience. But I'm not for the I'm not for the jump on a bandwagon and say I'm gonna be excited for a game that I really don't know nothing about, like Ratchet and Clank. So yeah. I'm more I'm more focused on the games that I want to play, like uh Bloodborne 2, uh Metal Gear Solid Remastered. Why not? I mean, there's plenty of they got plenty of titles that they can revamp, um, add a sequel to, and they're not using they're not using it. I don't understand. Yeah, and shout out to the chat. P Low three eighteen says twenty is twenty five games for the generation, and Mitchie dies a lot. Says Jeff Grubb said that it was not first party, but all games published by Sony. So twenty five games across the generation. Oh hell! And all- <laughs> <laughs> so that means yeah. so that means I need to see at least two trailers or two teasers. You have to have yeah. if you don't because if you talking about you got twenty five games in the span of a generation and you not getting these people hype or getting people juiced up like everybody else. Mm-hmm. Everybody do teasers. You know how many teasers we went through before we actually got the game. So I'm I, I need that's what I need and um I'm more focused. I, I, I'm focused on the games, but right now at this particular moment, I need the hardware. I need the hardware, and it yeah. seems like it's hard to get. Every, it was hard to get. It's hard to get. Yeah. So, mm. all right. Anybody else want to add anything to this? In regards to I, actually, I do. I do. I actually like the controllers. Can I just say that? Like the the Cosmic Ray one was nice, but again, I don't have a system, so I'm not going to buy it right now. I said it's pink. It looks pink the, to me. It could be red. The cosmic, well, the cosmic whatever. It looks cute. <laughs> Yeah. But my thing was, is this really like one of the first times PlayStation has official color controllers? No, they uh, had no, color they controllers did. before, but this is, I think that PS5, first PS5. Yeah, first PS5, and then gotcha. I think that they were pretty light on PS4s, weren't they? Yeah. yeah well, I, they, go ahead. I'm sorry. I I don't know. I got the rose gold one. Yeah, me too. I got the rose gold. I one. remember when that came out, and people were really hyped about it, and again, Hell I yeah. was like, mm-hmm. I was shocked because again. Xbox releases a new controller with every three months, and plus you're going to the, well, you could, it's closed now, the design labs and design your own. So maybe I'm just so used to us getting new controllers, yeah. and when they release, it's like, oh, okay, shiny, and then I go about my business. Yeah, it's but like no the, big deal, right? It's a yeah, I don't, it's like, yeah. I don't think, it's like, it's go good that you got one, but you know, but then the, the 25 games, again, um, I it's honestly, the way he, he announced it, it sounded more like a PR move than more than the fact that you're announcing games. Like he's just putting it out there just to saying that hey we got something coming what's coming i have no idea 
but we got something down in the pipeline because y'all know playstation announces games six year in advance and we don't get that shit or whatever so like we're gonna get it but it ain't gonna be no time soon like when what stages are these 25 games in i would <laughs> rather them announce um games that's gonna come out in the next six to 18 months give me an update on that i would rather you said oh we got three games coming out in the next 12 months i'd have been happy with that instead of saying you got 25 games that's coming out in one generation like yeah, I kind of, I kind of feel like, in a sense, it's like publishers really shouldn't say anything at all because games can come and go, get canceled. It's just, it's a very finical, finicky, that's the word, very finicky industry, right? Like things can always come and go, you know. As far as like, um, we've seen it happen over and over again, where, where a game can get announced and then the studio something can happen with the studio and they have to cancel the game and so on and so forth. So I think. I mean, that's this is why I thought that they were talking about like first party. It's like, I mean, I think that's what they said. Like, right, it's first party, right? So I mean, I mean if this is this is what they have, then they kind of know whether they can be able to publish these twenty five games or not. Like, and so maybe I'm maybe I'm having like a little bit of concern for nothing. Like, maybe it's just something that's just they already know we are they already signed off on these twenty five games, and so they're coming. It's not anything. It could be ten years from now, but they're coming. Basically, if, if, if like um, someone said in the chat that it's for the generation, so um, I just want to see variety. You know, I mean, they Sony does a great job of variety anyway. To me, um, you know, because you know Ratchet Clank is Ratchet and Clank is a platformer. They got a bunch of they got a lot of third person based games. You know, they have first person shooter IPs that they own that, that I would like to see come back. You know, that they they haven't released in a long time, so I would like to see those. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think I think um, I think this is a good to me. It's a good way to, like you said, PR as far as building hype. So yeah, and Boogie, do you, is there anything you want to add to this at all? Yeah, uh, I'll just say that uh, the hypocrisy is real. <laughs> do, do, do tell, do tell. I mean, because it's like uh, you know we see people and they're like. This is so amazing. Got a new controller. But then when Xbox does it, man, all y'all got is controllers. When I'm pretty yeah. sure we all have been light since uh, the yeah. release of these new gens. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I think with the controllers thing though, it's like Microsoft's known for that. They got so they do they known for doing custom controllers. They known for letting their gamers um design controllers too like have to do their own mm -hmm. custom colors and whatnot this is a thing that they're they known for whereas so i don't know it seemed like a big deal because sony doesn't do it as often and that's why they try to treat it as such it's like yo this is huge sony's got some colors so on and so forth but yeah i mean i just see what you mean though with the hypocrisy it's like yeah yeah because you know you maybe the problem is people need to too. find something to do <laughs> that part yeah Go get paid, go get laid, one on one, man. Y'all ain't got to worry about the the controllers and the game so much. It's if if you, if that's the thing that you like, you, if you're happy with the product of your of your per, per console to come out with like new controllers, you as a fan should be happy about that. The thing that I don't that like, I agree with El Boogie is just the amplification of what it really was supposed to be. It's just controllers, you know what I'm saying? It's just controllers. Um, we've been and especially with the controllers, I'm like, yo, if, unless you do doing design labs like Xbox, it's really not much you can do to innovate me on the controllers alone. Because yeah. I can actually, too, like, how much is the controller? How much is their controller right now? Uh, Cherie said the red was even right? Man, mm -hmm. she did. But I want to say, it's, yeah, it's like $60, $70 for a controller. No, I and know it's, it's just more a, than 60 I, I want to say it's like than, either yeah. 70 or 80 yeah, and it's just a, like a base color. It's it's just like understandable if I have, you know if I can no customize and get my name on it. Yeah. Yeah, no design on it or nothing like that. Let's see how much this controller costs. Let's see. More than I yeah, want to pay. Yeah, seventy is seventy for the constant red is red is seventy five. The black controller is seventy. Why are they call? Why is it? Why is it different? Right. Why the red would cost a little more? What's what's going on? The paint costs or something like. What's happening? Now the one I want to buy it costs more. See, now I don't want to buy it no more. Okay, and the red, the red <laughs> color is kind of like a wine color. It's like, oh, that's pretty. Y'all know my favorite color is red, so that's pretty. Uh, so I'm digging. I'm digging the red. Um, 
Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I just copped the doggone camo, the, you know, the the camo. Yeah, I saw that. That one's nice. I got yeah. the Volt, electric Volt one. I like it. I mean, it's bright. It's bright. I got that one too. I got the I got the Volt green. I got the swag, the, the drip coming. It's coming. Mm -hmm. It should be here any day now. You know what I'm saying? And I got the Daystrike camo, you know, controller. I can't wait. But, um, yeah, but that, that's the thing, though. It's like Xbox has been doing this forever. So it's not, it's like nothing new to be like, oh, yeah, people got controller collections and stuff. Right. You got so, controllers collecting dust. You got that controllers <laughs> that, that, that you customize for the very first time. You got controllers that match, that has a, a, a stand to match with it, like the Gears controller. Mm -hmm. Oh, my yeah. goodness. You got... And then if you want to go throwback, throwback, you got the Xbox 360 controller with the chat pad still attached to it. So, oh yeah, I got that shit somewhere around right here. Man, now. that chat pad was clutch. I, I want to low key get a chat pad for my own. Real, own. it made it's it so much easier. One, you got the black one, the chat pads, yes, yeah. And you know it works with the new, with the it, all the accessories work with the Series X controller too. So, you find you find that if you find that chat pad, you just pop that sucker in there, you'd be straight. What? In my Xbox Series X controller, I mean, yeah, if you, like the, if you have an Xbox One chat pad, not a not a 360 chat pad, don't get know that, but an Xbox <laughs> One chat pad, yeah, you should be able to snap your your uh, Xbox One chat pad into the Series uh, X controller. And it works That's pretty well. neat. Mm -hmm. It's it's back, forward compat, back. I don't know, back or forward. I don't know how you say that. Anyway, mm -hmm. but I thought it was cool. What about uh, so Elbig? How you feel about the 25? 25 games though what's your thoughts on that show me what you got and what would you like to see though what what would you like to see from them i mean we know it's going to be a bunch of uh single players so i just need to see an intriguing story for me i mean like i know everybody shits on this game but you know the order was yeah. one of my favorite games it was the reason why i bought my playstation 4 and the game was short it wasn't flushed out enough and then they just dropped it like a bad habit because people were like oh it's not mm -hmm. a good game but it wasn't necessarily that it wasn't a good game it was just short I'm i mean you got done now. with it i'm about to really hurt your feelings because you, you know what the fuck? i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you <laughs> I'm, gonna say, I'm about to hurt your feelings because like that how you gonna come out i'm about to hurt your feelings because I'm, I'm, you, I'm gonna give you some insight so like mm -hmm. that development team you know they were acquired by Facebook. You know, so now they're working on uh, uh, <laughs> they, they can't. They're working on Oculus and stuff like that. So, so the yeah. order, if it does come out, it would be a Facebook title. It would be right, a well, VR game. I got that too. So we gonna wait and work. <laughs> It'll be a VR game, likely. And um, but I, I I don't I don't know if I don't know if Sony owns the IP. But I, I mean, I, I watched the movie. I watched mm -hmm. the movie, you know, The Order, like 18. I thought it was dope. Like, it I was mean, fun. The art, it was the fun. Art was the, cool. Yeah. And yeah. the and mechanics of how they would slow it down for you to do certain things and stuff. I love that. It gave you, you know, you know one, of, one of my favorite, uh, which I never talk about because I think that they've kind of like left that in the dust too, is Max Payne. I mean, yeah, I love time. that shit. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, which I, I would love for them to come out with another one of those too. So, and that's part of that. Wasn't that the last one done by Insomniac? No, it's about Max Payne? Yeah, well, who was the last no, one done I, by? I, I that's that's remember. Remedy. Remedy. Isn't it Remedy? No, 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 no. Oh. Wait, who did? Was it, it was Remedy, right? It was Remedy, yes. But the, uh, yes, but someone else got had the publishing rights to it now. I can't remember who, but yeah, I think it is Remedy that made Max Payne. And um, so that's why, you know, that's why they had the whole, you know, with Quantum Break, you had like, where you could slow time and stuff. They use some of that same kind of influence with those games, but yeah, it was Remedy. Good call. All right, that so. was Reese, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll be relearning sometimes, right? <laughs> so, uh, um, sorry, people are still having issues. I know, I know that you, some of you. In the chat, and I know the ladies like don't have PlayStation Fives yet. I mean, we all have Series Xs, but um, as far as PlayStation Fives, there's still a shortage. You know, semiconductor shortage. But now the tech giants are banding together to try to solve this uh, this issue. And when I say tech giants, I'm talking about like all the big names. You know, they create they're creating their own um, what is it? group if, if you will to kind of help solve the semiconductor issue because it's, it's becoming a, a larger problem um 
<clears throat> because you know, I mean, I think it's like they're more so as far as funding and trying to get be able to build uh, consoles and other tech. So they coming together. So you got your. I mean, I'm talking about big, big. So like Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, they're all coming together. It's like this uh, semiconductors and American coalition to be able to try to provide funding and, and try to solve this shortage problem because people want their consoles people want other tech too that they use semiconductors in so um i just think this is i I put this in here because i just wanted to kind of mention that is that hopefully by them banding together we'll begin to see more stuff roll out you know as far as consoles because people can't get them there's people still you know you still got the scalpers on uh on ebay or whatnot and I, i tell people just wait because you can still play a lot of these games on your current systems on ps4 and on uh, xbox one so just wait uh it's crazy because i know more people with series x's than i do with playstation 5s and i don't i don't you know i don't know i don't know it could just be my circle um but i do hope they they solve this issue i don't know how, what have you ladies heard in regards to like who had who has playstation 5s and series x have y'all experienced the same thing can you repeat that again? As far as like who has Series X's and PlayStation 5's because of this because of the semiconductor shortage, um, you know, there's a a lot of the big companies are coming together to kind of bring a coalition to solve this issue of not being able to develop chips fast enough for the consoles. And so what I was asking you ladies was that how what are you what are you all hearing as far as who has consoles like your circle? Like I, for me, it's been a lot of people I know have Series X's and they, it's, it's more people with Series X's that I know than people with PlayStation 5's. And I don't know if it's if I'm experiencing that because that's the circle that I'm in. You know, because sometimes you're in your bubble and that's all you know. Like, But I just know way more people that have Series X's than I do PlayStation 5's. No, they seem to be coming up more, more often and even in more quantities and i don't know if that's a thing because this is an american company so we're allowing more of men easier right. um or what but i know that i have i have you know my two cousins i've been trying to help both of them get a console i was able to help my one get an xbox but i still haven't been able to secure a playstation 5 so mm-hmm. and you know my ass is looking every day just like everybody else so <laughs> yeah i don't know I don't know. I mean, every time I try to get one, it's either in some big bundle, unnecessary bundle, like why why I need three controllers. <laughs> I don't know. Um, or you just life. can't get into it. You just can't get into it. I don't know. So, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's yeah you're all right. I got. It's tough. It's tough. And I, like, I mean, that's why I'm hoping this, this coalition they put together would help you know get these some more consoles out there. They should have did this coalition like before the council already came right. out. Right, right. I don't. I guess they didn't realize it was going to be that bad. Even though, like, for but even before, then there was like reports that you know stuff was going to be behind because of pandemic, but then also because of like government issues and policies and stuff that there might be ter- tariffs and stuff. So like we were already aware that some things were going to be hard to get. So yeah, they should have did this beforehand, or maybe they. I guess they just didn't think it was gonna be this bad. This this new coalition, they're at this. This is definitely, I think, in response to. Uh, well, I can't necessarily say it. it's definitely in response to the consoles for sure. But they're asking that what's happening is they're actually asking Congress for fifty billion to fund this Chips for America Act um, to boost the our country, like the United States, our country's semiconductor production because because they're having so many issues with trying to get mm-hmm. it in other places but see that's not gonna happen overnight you know what i mean like, yeah definitely not i don't see it i mean i don't i don't see it i don't I, everything that i've read says we're not going to see a normalization of getting any of that stuff until first quarter 2022 so wow. it's going to be a struggle until then wow i, I know that um some people like somebody in the chat was saying how they've been able to get series s's but it's still hard to get a series x um, i don't know from what i've seen i see more x's than s's yeah, me too me too but i mean i don't know for for anyone looking twitter is probably your best bet sure. i mean wario 64 is constantly posting you know when they go up there's a couple of other people that post when consoles go up i mean there's ways for you to know as soon as they go live 
Yeah, and get them at retail. Like, don't mm -hmm. get yeah. and stuff. Don't, don't give them a dime. Do your yeah, like my cousin said he was going to pay $800. I'm like, no, 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 no. We don't do that. <laughs> don't support that. Don't support right. that. We don't, don't do that right here. Don't do that right here. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I will find you one. Yeah, because I mean, like I said earlier, these a lot of these games are still available, playable on your on current gen, well, past, well, previous gen. There we go, previous generation. Mm -hmm. So enjoy them there. You know, like, granted, it's night and day difference, and it's hard. I tried going back. It's it's hard to go back. You know, once you hit that sixty frames, and then the one hundred twenty frames with the with the FPS boost. It's hard to go back. It's it's just like Xbox One. It's just I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. That load time, man, it's a killer. It's a killer. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, so if you could, if yeah, like like Boogie said, follow what you said, Wario sixty four. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. anything anything else you all want to add on the semiconductor issue? Do you think this is going to work though? The Fifty billion that they need in order to try to get chip development in the United States. They need to I do hope something. So. They need to do something. Yeah, it's just like man, you know, this, these are some rich companies. Man. Like, come on, man. I guess they need more than, than that. I guess it's why they like, yo, we need help. Still, even though it's this expensive, we still need help. So it's crazy. But we'll see. I think that'd be cool, though, because it didn't bring jobs here, too, which would be awesome. Um, all right. So we all follow Twitter. We see this the back and forth a lot in regards to, like, the rumor mill. It's, it's, it's that season, right? E3 is, like, right around the corner. So you seeing all kind of stuff pop up on on Twitter as far as the rumors and stuff. Now I, I can't. I'm not gonna go into it, but or I mean, what have you ladies heard? And if is there anything you would like to discuss? I'm too old for rumors. I need facts now. Oh no, no, no. Know. I like the rumors. Rumors are fun. I was say that we. How about we call it gossip instead of rumors? Mm -hmm. Gossip. <laughs> that's 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 basically what it is. Because on the grapevine. One, yes. You know, <laughs> first up. What y'all heard about that new um, PS5 Pro? Huh? What y'all heard about right. that? They're talking about it's already being redesigned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that means They're you have about probably PS5 already about to have a redesign. I missed this. Can somebody elaborate, please? Can you want to So they're saying that the PS5 is already being redesigned. What's wrong with the current one? Um. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we got rehash this. You already know what's wrong with the current one. It's a big bitch. But uh um, was big. I know. Yeah, man. Hey. Yeah. Although uh, you know, in our Discord that we talked about it briefly, but uh somebody was like, you know, they're not supposed to be uh actually changing the shape. They're just supposed to be doing inner workings. Um, so I don't know. We'll see if the shape changes or not. But yeah, the rumor mill is that the PS5 is being redesigned. Already? But if it's a redesign, yeah. That, yeah, we get good about that. Well, you know, um, you still redesign the inside, you know? Yeah, so is it not just say, would it really re, really be a uh, new design or would they just so be if like... If they do a new design, I want it smaller, okay, first of all. I yeah, me too. I need the slim. Like, I need the... What you about to call it? <laughs> exactly. I'm going to need the slim because this sucker is, I mean, hey, it takes up a lot. It's bigger It's bigger than my whole, like, my torso up to my neck. It's, it's big. Oh, God. Yeah, it's big. She's got a fat ass, sir. Right, and if she got a disc drive, she really got booty on the side. <laughs> yes, and the I do only got one I'm disc, trying I got to yeah. drive too. I got the disc drive too. So. The one I want is the non-disc. So yeah, that's the one I want. That slim profile. It, it's faking it to make it though. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a big machine. It's oh, I'm sure. Machine. I when I it was covering the whole man's chest when he was holding it up. Yeah. And yeah, well, and you use that as a bulletproof vest. So much going on there. Packaging. Oh. I was so scared taking it out of the packaging because it's flimsy. You know how mm. you open up the Series X and it's like nice yeah, it's in there. tight, packed. big brick in there. Yes, and it's it's like pre the presentation is on. It got point. some weight in it. It got some weight on it. That's it. Do me a favor. Once this once this is over, go to YouTube and look at an unboxing of the PlayStation Five. That packaging, I'd be scared. scared. Like peanuts coming out. Oh yeah, no, that was another thing. It's, it's, it's just not. It's, it's just it's for it to be so big and you know. It's just to me, it wasn't enough padding in there. It's like they just threw it in the box. Like, hey, man, yeah, man, right. right? They've changed the padding because people was complaining. They've upgraded what? it. Yes, okay, okay. I saw a video about two, three weeks ago, and it was somebody was talking about how it was, it was better packaging than what the first, you know, sets oh, went man. out. So I hey, first I got that first one, and like it, it looked as if someone like you, they didn't even care about it. Like it just yeah. the 
the uh, cardboard was that they used was even super thin. It was like as if they were trying to save money or cost there. Like with the, yeah. because it got recycled um, carts on the, each side and it slid between this thin plastic and it's got They're like a little that young tax break. <laughs> we oh, use recycled exactly. materials. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, shout out to Monica as she says they claim it's supposed to be faster, different chips that they're using in it. So it's basically like lady said, it's supposed to be like a pro. PS5 Pro. They already need a pro. It's not even six months. Hopefully, people. hopefully this one will do out native out November, 4K right? 60. Okay. Oh, well, maybe they did six months, but still, oh, that's beside the point. You six months within your life cycle. Not even not six by years. The, by the time they come up with the redesign, you said next right. year, right? Then it'll be no. I think that's it's well over. Six well, they're probably starting to redesign now. That's probably what's happening. So we probably won't see it for like at least a year. So they got a so bad leak in the department the, the, that, that makes me worry a little bit because you know you got all these other places to find this you know scalpers have them and then some of them mm-hmm. you know people are still trying to find so it's like by the time people get those in their hands it's gonna be a new design ready right it'll be a new completely different system mm-hmm. so and then that second question is should i get it now or wait for that mythical Ooh. redesign i'm not I'm waiting. waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting, for that reason. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah, y'all I mean, waiting already. I mean, I'm I want to wait. Honestly, I want to wait, but Ratchet and Clank is like calling my name. I it know. does look good. It I does look wait, good. I'm gonna wait. need I'm gonna need to go to Delilah's house and play. <laughs> Shit. I can't wait. I'm telling you, I can't wait. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. I'll probably stream that. You think I should stream that? Ooh, yes. So, so y'all can see it. I might do it just yes. for y'all. Just for y'all. I might do that just for y'all. Don't quote me on it though. Whatever. <laughs> Oh man! So anything else? Anything else have y'all heard outside of the PlayStation Five "quote unquote" Pro, which I believe it when I see it. I don't know. Yeah, if right. They name it that. I'm it's like, a, like I'm rumor. laughing. I'm laughing so hard if they name it that. Oh yeah, what did that? What other thing brings up a good topic? He says he says maybe Ratchet and Clank will do 4K 60 on a PS5 Pro. Is it not doing 4K 60 right no, now? Apparently what? no. No. What? Stop. A lot of their games don't do that. Oh. A, a lot. So. I so, know that there was a thing with Resident Evil that they were like, why? Why yeah, is it different. getting... Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. They, the engine issues, da, 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 I get that. But the, for it to have a game that's being su- Yeah, first party games built. should be... Yeah, right. first party games should be running 4K60. Right, right. That's what I expect yeah. out of next gen. 4K60. Right, for all yeah. first party t- titles, both systems. Right. I mean, we yeah. over here getting FPS boost to boost. Laura Croft's last game. Exactly. I mean, you should. <laughs> So, uh, um, when, when PlayStation about to do a little mode? I'm waiting. Oh man, come on now. Oh my god. <laughs> she got a point though. Like seriously. I mean, like, but see, the thing is, Microsoft does do a lot of that. Those things in house, whether it's the HDR. That don't mean that's beside the point. That's beside the point. Then Sony needs right. to, need to, need to like come on. Like again, I'm I mean, playing Mass Effect. That Mass Effect plays better on the Series S than it does on the PlayStation Five. Yeah. Like, I like, remember them saying that, like, this is Digital Foundry saying this shit. How? How sway? <laughs> Dang, this, I, I don't mean, get maybe that. Maybe the redesign that y'all mentioned. That y'all yeah, that probably is that's why they're doing it, because right. people are probably, as these games are starting to come out, they're probably starting to see more and more that it's really competing with the S instead of the X. Yeah. And they can't have that narrative. They can't, Sony cannot afford to have that narrative. And they better be glad that their fanboys are too blind to actually read and see the difference in the quality. Because if they was actually, you know, had common sense and could tell the difference, this would be ugly. This would be a uproar. So they better be glad that their fanboys don't pay attention to stuff like this. Or maybe they do and they just don't pay, I don't know, read or something. I don't know. Um, but, like, shit's hilarious. I don't but, know. yeah. Next time you see like the the stat the specs list, Series X is on the column by itself. PlayStation Four and PlayStation Five always come first because they have the worst specs. The Xbox One X and the Series X is together because it's it's next and it's better than those two. That's always how it's listed in like the last three games I've seen. And Mass Effect is one of them. See, I could throw a shot, but I'm not going to even do that. I can't do it. I got, I got, <laughs> Come on, Delilah. I can't do it. Can't Send, do me it. Send me a text and I'll do it for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Send me a text and I'll do it for you. I'm going to text it because you know, I'm not going to say that, but I'm going to say that. I want to say it, but I'm not going to say it. You know what I'm saying? Oh. You know? 
Delilah, I always say, if you got something that you need to tell me, I'll tell it for you. <laughs> I tell it for you. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, you know, I'm not going. I'm not going. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that. But you know, it kind of is what it is. You know. Hopefully, I'm just surprised. I don't. I don't think. You think they're gonna? I don't know. I don't know they're gonna do this for us doing a redesign. I mean, that's the only thing y'all heard this week. Let me see. Um, for the long, honestly, I thought the twenty five games was a rumor for a minute. Ty, yeah, I should it was in the interview section interview. Yeah. 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 Um, I think that's all. That was the bigger thing for me. No E3, no E3 information. Nothing on E3, no nothing. Like. Oh, actually, I'll wait for that, like, later at yeah. the end of the month. I feel and like we're we coming. Yeah. It's, but, yeah. It's right. I yeah. think, okay, hold on. So, if you look at the calendar right now, we got about, what, one, two, three, about four Yeah, weeks? we only have three weeks. Five, four, five, one, we only have three weeks. No, because isn't it? For the first week of June? I thought it was the second week of June. Mm, maybe... Cause every, cause I was about to go into that now, like as far as the E3 publisher list and stuff like that. Um, since we know we kind of covered Sony, we don't know, we really don't know what they're gonna do because they, they're not in that list. We don't think I mentioned that earlier. So, <clears throat> the E3 publisher list, I think every every major publisher is on board except for, uh, I think it was like EA got their own thing though, and then uh, Sony is the other one that's absent. But everybody else is already kind of like, yo, we gonna, even Nintendo, like, yo, we gonna do something. So Nerd. I'm excited. I mean, I'm super excited. I love this this time, that time of the year. You know, I love hearing about new games and stuff. So I hope everybody bring it. Like, I want to see the best stuff, you know. I'm excited for it. So, um. Um, Mitchie says she heard apparently Starfield is like No Man's Sky. Oh, that's some hating. You know what? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> that's what Mitchie said. That was her gossip for the week. I'm going to tell you. Ooh, Mitchie. <laughs> oh man um look i'm excited for starfield that's all i gotta say and it's on game pass and it's in school, so it don't matter to me though so uh, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, anything I else well, i mean e- look uh, e3 digital is gonna be it's gonna be over it's, I, this is the thing digitally digitally it's like you're gonna see a lot of trolls in the chat you're gonna see bad mods in the chat they're gonna be no filter in the chat i just i don't i want their print if they're gonna do like digital e3 i want that production value to be on point i was ready for um a lot of people to log in and the servers don't crash like I need... some, who gonna crash first though <laughs> that part um i just i just need a steady connection because you know if everybody's trying to watch this from phones from um computers whatever i just need them to be have a steady solid connection yeah I, yeah i need for it to be like i want that's the thing i'll worry about too with them having a, a you know virtual show is the production quality value and like you said streaming it because everybody's going to be on this thing i mean i don't even think they're ready yeah you know honestly I mean? they can stream it out their bathroom as long as they pay for that um connection mm-hmm. Maybe you know Damn, what's the funny, bathroom? Even, right? The bathroom. <laughs> but you know what's funny? I, I think they, you know how uh, last year when they had the Game Awards, because that was like during the pandemic, and how popular that was. I think they need to look at those numbers and get ready for that bandwidth, because it was a lot of people tuning in to the Game Awards simply because of the fact that it was it was a digital event this year, that well, last year, and uh, so if those numbers are similar. They should really just, you know, they should get ready. And so I like I don't want to be going to like YouTube or one of these other streaming sites and things be like buffering, you know. I feel like we passed that. It should be it should be. I hope the production quality is there. Um, so yeah, I, I mean I don't got anything else to add as far as the, the E three thing. I mean, do you all got anything you want to add to it? Then you expectations. I know we got a couple more weeks to talk about this. I mean, we got a few more shows coming. So we got I miss going it, to I miss E3. I miss E3 convention season. Yeah, me too. Me too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I'm just trying to figure out where they where where they get who. Okay, so because Mitchie does a lot said Starfield is like No Man's Sky. Where where did that come from? I need I need to know some detail there. Like where's, that's the whole point where, of where, Gossip. Where's, you, where did Starfield? You don't know who the they place? are. Because everybody's talking about Starfield right now. What is but, what is what is Starfield? Somebody, somebody tell me what a Starfield is. <laughs> nobody knows what it is. That's just it. Sci-fi RPG, man. Made by who? Uh, Bethesda. Obsidian? Bethesda. No, Bethesda. no, Bethesda. 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 Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, buddy. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yo, if you ain't played a Bethesda game, I don't know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> I am uh, I'm, I'm, I'm conversed in Bethesda games, so. So what? I, what, do you, what do you expect out of this game? Like, I mean, deep yeah. stories. Both so I, out the yay. Yay. So silly. Come yay. Yay. I don't, again, I don't want it. It's a Bethesda game. It. It's, you, it's we accept the books because we know we're finna get an excellent story with hundreds and hundreds of hours of content, but we know there's gonna be books because this shit is gonna, it's just, that's what it does. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Dang, this is, it's good. Gaming is, it's, it's about to get crazy, man. Like, it's so much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff, man, coming. I, I mean, so excited. We only got, what, a few weeks till E3. Oh, it's just about to get good. You already got rumor mill going on. I'm about to do some research on a uh, on Starfield since now it's like people tweeting about it and stuff. All right, let's see. Is there anything else y'all want to mention? That's it. That's it. Cause I, otherwise I'm going to tidbits if y'all got any. Uh, EA play okay, did. I, I did somebody got any questions? Last thing I'm gonna say though is that uh, EA play did announce their date, which is July 22nd, which is after. Uh, the supposed E3 date. Um, oh, so, so they're not having the same time as yeah, E3? Yeah, I, 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 think it's, I think that's why they probably put that announcement out. It's because of the fact that it's not going to be during that same week, you know, the E3, the, the traditional E3 week. Um, so, yeah, so EA is going to do something a little different, apparently. Based on this uh, gamesindustry.biz article. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I got. I was just got nothing to say there. Got nothing to say there. Um, but yeah, I, I hope everybody bring it though. Bring it. Anybody got any tidbits? Uh, we about to go into tidbits and then questions. So, if you got any questions, feel free to put them in now. You know question all caps and then after that type in your question so we can see it easily we see some of them is already in here so do any of you all want to grab the questions for me but or, or if you got any tidbit go ahead and, and speak your tidbit now what y'all watching anything i should be playing anything i should be watching put it in the chat say it on the mic the panel please okay i want to do a tidbit on the swb escape first okay <laughs> let's go Ooh. Yo, yo, the first half got me. <laughs> the first half got me because they act like they was too good to sing. Okay. Say but they who? They who? Be pleased. All, be of them, all of them. All of them. All of them. They <laughs> as a unit. As a unit. SWV and Escape, basically. Yeah, they both yeah. came out. I was like, yo, they, they we really timid. love to be on the couch. They couch timid. the whole time. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, I forget how to perform, basically. Right. <laughs> I mean, I think it wasn't until Candy was like, we doing this or not? Yeah. Well, you know, Candy. Candy know what she's doing. Yeah. She know how Candy to know how to get the bag, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm like yeah. that tonight. To job. That tonight. Oh, that from Escape was yeah. good. That was like that was like SWV. Like, okay, we got to do it. They came out with the rhinestone mic stands and the and oh, I'm sorry. I was Team SWV. Yes. I was Team SWV. <laughs> See, and I was Team Escape. Yeah, that should happen. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I can say, like, uh, for me, I thought it was, I thought it was good. I mean, it was cool. We watched it in the in the in the drone game of Discord. You know, we do those things. If you didn't know, join the Discord. But um, what I, 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 I enjoyed. <laughs> I, I enjoyed. It. Yeah, yeah, you would have. <laughs> yeah, um, but it, I thought it was interesting because it, it it was slow the first half, and then the second half was like everybody kind of you know, you know, probably read the tweets and saw the the, 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 the maybe they were negative. nervous. No, nah, they Come went on, in already in tweets. Y'all show business people. Y'all should be past the nerves. Y'all and y'all well, be industry just, vets. It's... It must be industry vets. It should be no nerves right. at this point. Come on now. Let's but but you know they this maybe they haven't performed for a while or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm making excuses. You tripping? I'm trying. Yeah, you I'm tripping. trying. You making excuses? I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> right? I'm trying. That's okay. No. Um, <laughs> they definitely read them tweets because <laughs> everybody was going in like the DJ, I'm, about the to, DJ. I'm about to turn yeah. this off. 
Like I am not watching another half hour of this mess. Um, and they started coming with it. But I mean, I don't see. Look, SWV won by landslide. Mm-hmm. They got they way too it. many they stole hits. It. It's still in the Carrie, second half. Yes. Yeah, they over there singing fucking Beyonce and shit. Escape singing all the Candy's hits that she done touched. All Candy yes. hits. You know, right. some scrubs and all them. Yeah. I, I don't want no scrub. But you ain't got TLC up there, though. Right. Those are great songs. But, I like they, and then, they brought like, out the brat. You know what I'm saying? They had, they had yeah, like... Yeah, but she sucks. Yeah. She sucks, though. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, it's the brat. I like the came like out looking brat. tired. Come on now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I, I enjoyed the brat on there. I thought that was dope. You know what I'm saying? They should have brought Foxy Brown and do release some tension. I was so upset. Yeah, she was hot about that one, y'all. Y'all, she yeah, was hot about that one. Yeah. Right? <laughs> because that's a beautiful song. It's mm-hmm. it's the perfect... If you, like, want to talk to someone or you really digging somebody and you want to send the perfect message to that person mm-hmm. that you vibing with, that is the perfect song. I don't know about that part, but... Well, to me, it is. <laughs> to right? me, it is Sharice. Sharice came with the two you. <laughs> um, the fight. There was a fight this past week too. That fight we saw after the show. Yeah, that was. It was all right. It, I mean, it wasn't. Again, we watched it in the Discord. Y'all people didn't yeah. jump in our Discord. We watched that in the Discord too, like right after SWV. So it was kind of cool because SWV basically led up to the main main event, the which main, worked main, out perfectly. Yeah, right. Although, oh boy, had like a full on like mariachi band, a whole concert going on. I'm like, yo, you going to box or not? <laughs> hey, everybody need a hot squad. Yeah, but that was, but you know, people get hyped. That's yeah, that's it's hyped forever to get down to the ring though. <laughs> All right, that's my tidbits. That's all I got. Oh, one more, one more. Xbox 20. Xbox 20. Yeah. Xbox 20. Yeah. So um Xbox is celebrating 20 years. And so they, they got this whole campaign going. Hashtag Xbox 20. Basically with the hashtag put in your like your history with Xbox and stuff. So yeah, I thought I think it's dope. Uh, I've been Oh, I've been, well, what you mean I can get my history? I've been, I've been a well, no no, I t- talk about your history history on twitter with xbox oh, okay. use that hashtag i know for me personally i've been i've been a fan of xbox before xbox was even a, like before it was an actual they had the actual console design i, I was an xbox fan when it was a, a pc tower before they even released the design because everybody was on playstation 2 playstation i'm mean, not playstation 2 but everybody was on playstation at the time and um i just wanted to do something i you know i'm non conformist so i always try to do something slightly different or different from what everybody else is doing and I just kept hearing the rumors about it. I've always been a Microsoft fan. And yeah, very beginning, I was a, even like an Xbox Live beta tester, the whole nine. And so it's just cool, kind of cool to go back. I was just, you know, going through like, mem- going down memory lane of like what kept me with the brand, like what kept me playing on Xbox. Like I never, never switched. Like I, you know, I never left and went to like, I mean, of course I got other consoles and what and everything now, but that's, new to to my gaming repertoire like i've always had mostly just xbox stuff you know i was i was one of those that was collecting the the um xbox originals if you will the ones that had that tag on the front that said only on xbox you know i was trying to collect all those all those games and stuff so it's kind of cool to go back through all of my some of my old e3 uh pictures from back in the day i feel super old <laughs> just thinking about some of the stuff but it, it's kind of cool so what, I mean, are you all going to do anything to celebrate Xbox 20? Um, and how do you feel about the hashtag? Do you think it's a, they could have used something else? How do you, how do you, no, think no, you no. I think, I think Xbox 20 is perfect. Um, I'm, I ain't going to lie to you, man. Shout out to, shout out to Bruce Jackson. This is, is the dude I used to kick it with. And he has the best system inside his house. And right under the TV was an Xbox. And that was when my first had my hand on playing the xbox so when i finally had like enough money to get my own place and uh all i had was on in my apartment was an air bed a tv and an xbox Mm -hmm. and the wireless adapter that's that's the thing that gets me in the feels is the wire the wireless adapter with the two antennas on top with the green light when you got that solid green light you were good to go to play online Compared to what we, what we, how convenient it is for us now, yeah. how it was then. Um, I, it, I'm, I'm, 
I can't wait. I got I got so many memories like putting the putting the Xbox on layaway and putting fifty dollars down every pay period because I couldn't afford to get it outright. And then I finally paid for it in full, and I can was able to like grab it and feel it, and you know, I, I'm I'm happy. I I I have less problems with Xbox than any other console, so they got the least problems for me. And then when I do have a problem, I ain't gonna lie, the customer service is on point. Yeah, it's always been fine. Right. I've never had an issue. Like, I'm a, in time, like I had the Red Ring of Death back in the day and they just replaced it, no no problem. Send yep. me the box to ship it back to them and everything. And like, we gonna send you a box, just put it in the box, send it to us and we'll, you know, either repair it, send it back or send you a new one. You know, I thought that was cool. And, and one of my, before Sharice jump in and tell a, a quick Xbox 20 story, I want to say one of my fondest memories with Xbox is also when the 360 launch, how Sharice and I got, we went and got our consoles at the same day. We went and got them together. And that was, it's, it was such a cool moment of, you know, trying to get in line, trying to get our consoles and then trying to hurry up and get out of there in order to go play them as fast as we could. It was Absolutely. I have this picture of Delilah holding hers up while we're walking out the store and it's like <laughs> her face is like we can see the happiness yes. in her Who face. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like and we we really did. We went back to the apartment. I don't I don't even know which ones we hooked up first, but like oh I do remember my ex boyfriend dropping the TV on it. Yo. <laughs> I was pissed and I was like, if my shit broke, we done. But beside that, um I Oh my god, I love Xbox. I don't know how else to say it. Um, yeah, we know, we know you the Xbox fan girl. You know, I know, sure. I know. Like I just like, <laughs> like it's it's sitting right here beside me, and I'm just rubbing it, y'all. Like, it's so oh, cool. I know, and... right? Yo, girl, you ain't you ain't old enough yet to drink, but we're gonna have a drink tonight. Oh, <laughs> oh. That's a yeah, good point. That's... It's not even old enough to drink. It's not even. It's a twenty. It's a. Yes, it's, 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 it's one year short. Yeah. Compared to every other one. Man, I was drinking. I was drinking at seventeen. Ain't nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Well, we it, toasting tonight. We toasting tonight. Parental yeah. supervision. We got. We got. <laughs> this wrong women game. They better know. Like, <laughs> oh man. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I got so many memories, but uh, that one was cool. Oh, book, you got a memory? Of the Xbox, yeah. yeah. Like, I remember getting the the disc, you know. Oh, out the magazine. Yeah, out the yeah. magazines. Yes. I used to have Xbox magazine faithfully. Mm-hmm. Um, I still mm-hmm. have my original Xbox in storage. Wow. My, my yeah, my original Xbox and um those big ass controllers. The Duke. And, the Duke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I have my 360, and then I have my one, and I have my series now. So I got all of them. Uh. And it's funny because it wasn't even, you know, I was PlayStation heavy for a while. Yeah. But uh, I've always, always had Xbox. Um, I don't know if y'all remember back in the day they had those games, uh, those TV trivia games, and you had each each person had like a little remote. Yeah. And you could like buzz that. in and Press stuff. Little button. Yeah, yeah. Like I still have that set and everything. So I, I got to put those called, like in a. Uh... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say I'm gonna have to display that. <laughs> yeah, take a picture and then use the hashtag Xbox Twenty. They're gonna be dope. And uh, I know I, I also have this old legacy uh, Xbox thing. They had this game called Lips, and it actually came with some mics that you had to sing into. And then when I you remember sing, that game. The bottom of them lit up. So I still have that around around here somewhere in one of these boxes. But but yeah, I mean, they had some little cool stuff back then, you know. Um, Anything else as far as Xbox 20? Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Shout out to Rain G4. He says one versus 100. Y'all remember that? Full House one Poker. Full, Full House poker. poker. Yes. The the, the original, uh, what is it? The camera. That yes. went bad real quick. <laughs> Uno on deck like at 2 o'clock in the morning. You oh. know, oh. no Uno at no 2 o'clock in the morning with no webcam. Yeah, you, don't you are. Do you are. Yeah, don't, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. They should have, they should have known, but, uh, yeah, fun times, fun times. All right. Any more tidbits? Any more tidbits? Nope. That's it. That's it. Nothing I should be watching on new shows. We, we all caught up on the shows. Well, we just, I just saw this morning. I think I put it in the the DMs that the, um, from the Bridgertons, the queen, she she got a spinoff, but I think it's her early life. I don't know if it's her now. I I definitely will be watching it because I want to see. Yeah, I like her character. Yeah. 
And mind you now, she's not a character in the book. So this is a brand new character. Oh, so wow. they can go anywhere with her. Did they say who's writing that? Who's writing the, the show? Uh, it's still uh, Shonda Rhimes and her group. So we gonna see. Yeah. Cool, cool, awesome, awesome. All right, so do we got any questions? This is my favorite part. So we got any questions? Yes, we do. Monica, I seen you got your question way early. I'm gonna get yours. I'm gonna get your first one that you put one early first. Um, make sh- Guys, you make sure you put questions and then your question and so I can be able to see them and I we can be able to ask that, uh, answer the question for you guys. Okay. Monica S, do you guys know if the only external storage you can get for Xbox New Gen is only from Seagate to play from uh, external storage? Yeah. The, yeah, it's yeah. only for Seagate right now. It's the only one that's the official that's available. Yeah. Right now, there's no other third party that's doing external storages. Okay. Yeah. All right. But um, you, but keep in mind, you can still use a external hard drive. You just have to move things back and forth. Um, but this, the Seagate drive is if you want to keep things on that drive and play with the same performance with that with the, with the drive. That makes sense. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Uh, L Tuck, he got a question. How y'all feeling the new J Cole album? Oh, I'm, I'm I haven't heard it yet. I'm digging it. I haven't heard it yet. It. I can I'm tell you right now, my listen. favorite tracks. I like 95 South because I think he started that joint off. He going in on that first track. Also, like 100 mil. Um, it's another one. Dang, I'm blanking. It's blanking. My life. I like my life. I like with Twenty One Savage. I like that one, and also like Close, because I like I like the storytelling in Close. I thought that one's crazy, crazy. I mean, I I say out of the, how many tracks he got on here, he got like what twelve songs. Out of the twelve songs, I like eight of them. So it's a, crazy, it's, a it's a solid it's a solid album. Okay. Sure. Yeah. All right. Lyrically, it's it's it's, it's on point. I like the, it's got to be the lyrics for me. It's yes, the lyrics for me. It's, the lyrics. It, it, it's like a, a younger Nas, you know what I'm saying? I love storytelling. Don't get me wrong, part of me be the I like the bass, and you know, on a Saturday night at 11 30, sometimes I want to listen to some nonsense, but most of the majority of the time, I want to listen to that mm-hmm. some I real like, shit. Another thing, too, I noticed with the album, too, is I like the beat, the, uh, the beats that he used on this album, like because you know, you typically a J. Cole beat, it's like slow. You know, but they it, it it's interesting because on this album, all the beats start slow, but then they they kind of crank up as the lyrics start. It did a good job. The production on here is dope. Um, that's all I gotta say. I don't want to spoil it for everybody. Just go take a listen. It's on. I got, I'm just checking it out on uh, Spotify. So yeah, it's on there. If you guys find it. All right. Or if you got Apple Music, check it out boo. on Apple Music. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you got my boo. <laughs> boo you. Apple anything. Microsoft all day, so I'm gonna Apple anything. You know what I mean? Microsoft don't have a phone, and they don't have a uh, song. They have a phone, phone, but it wasn't that big. I'm hurting. I'm oh hurting. Oh my god. They had, so they had a phone. That they hurts. didn't pop off. They had. Just punched me in the chest. But you just I mean, punched me in the chest, you know. y'all. She straight just punched me in the chest, man. I was so sad. Man, how you gonna knock? You, how you gonna knock? How you gonna try to uh, so shop at the Apple Queen? Sharice, you gonna help me? Me, I, I, I got nothing for you. As much as I hate Apple, I don't use Spotify either. I'm Amazon Music, baby. I oh am plugged God. in. <laughs> I am plugged uh, in. Dan, you could have helped me on the Android side, though. Something. God. Okay, my bad, my bad. Android all. for life. Apple can, like. You late you now. Know. It's too late. I'm sorry, too my bad. Right? Right? Sorry, my bad. Bad shit. Oh, half shoes. ass. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I'm so sad. No, go on in. Team Blue Bubbles. <laughs> right? My bad. Punch me dead in the chest. It's all good though. It's all good. You know, it's all right. Yo, the worst part is when you text somebody new and they shit come back green. You be like, oh fuck. <laughs> I told, I told El that green shit. I was like, El Boogie, yo, this dude this got dude. a green bubble. And I mean, how like, we still got SMS now? Come on, now, Android. Think of something, shit. They, you don't have to use the SMS. They got something else. Whatever. Move right along. Let's keep pushing. Next <laughs> okay. Next question. Next question. Next question. <laughs> Uh, Monica S, uh, what game have you played that was the hardest you have played that you liked but couldn't finish? Easy, Hitman. <laughs> Hitman. Mm, Hitman. I must. It liked to have been Outriders. It liked to have been Outriders. Man, I still ain't finished Outriders yet. Man, Outriders is, it is tough, man. I, I don't want. See, the thing is, I'm stubborn. I don't want to lower my world difficulty because I want that the part. loot. And it's like, oh, but it's it's tough. I'm on this one boss fight and I just can't. I, I beat the previous one that I told y'all about last week, but this new one that I that I stopped on with the two green monsters, 
Oh, that joint is a problem. Because you got to beat the little minions first, and then you got two. Oh, it's tough. It's challenging. <laughs> it's crazy. That part. Mm hmm. But did not finish. Um, is that not? Nah, didn't, didn't finish. I don't know. Hitman, Hitman was, I, I'm not stealthy. I'm a shoot him up, bang, bang type of girl. I couldn't do none of that in Hitman. None yeah. of that. You got to think. You got to change costumes. You got to hack the security systems and all that. I can. I, I was like too, I was two missions short of beating the game with the last, the, the, the last one. Not this one that came out, but the other one. Um, But I hope second roll I'm, too. Second roll is another one. That that joint's tough. Like if you can't get the timing down, it's tough. You'll get it eventually, but it takes a while before you get that get to get it down. Just the mechanic, but um, Sekiro is hard as well. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else? Anybody? Anyone, anyone else? Any, anyone? Y'all got anything y'all stuck on as far as games like difficulty? A boogie? Nope. <laughs> we can say I beat all the games. Nothing. No, I just I, for one thing you already know when it start getting hard like that, I ain't playing it. <laughs> that's the question. <laughs> like that's, that's literally the question. Nope, I ain't playing it. Like <laughs> so, it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be the game I'm playing for long because if it's too hard, that shit's going in the trash. I'm telling you right now, Sekiro Die Tries Game of the Year Edition is not fifty nine ninety nine. You I ain't copying that, man. You tripping? Oof. Oof. <laughs> let me sit my $59.99 get out of here yeah. um, let me go check on some more questions uh, Tony Bryan question what announcement you most want to see next month oh uh, Fallout New Vegas 2 and Bloodborne 2 oh man I mean, we World about this. Um, <clears throat> you said Real World yeah, like new expansions on RimWorld or maybe RimWorld Tour or something. Um, hmm. I don't know. I just want some. I want some unannounced information. Like it's something I haven't heard of. Don't know nothing about. I want something just fresh, new, different. Like I'm ready. I'm ready for that. Like I'm, you know, because think about it. Year after year, we hear about the the Maddens and the Call of Duties and the stuff like that and the Assassin Creeds, in which they announced an expansion and all that stuff. So it's like. I just want something fresh and new, you know. That's why that's why Starfield is, 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 is to to see people tweeting about that and talking about that is pretty exciting. I did see Jeff Grubb mention it, but it's why it's exciting because it's something that's new, right? I just want something new. So that's my answer. Okay. Anybody else? I'm I'm kind of with Delilah. I just want something new and that's gonna make me want to spend some money on it. Yeah, that's the that's the part. Make me want to like make me entice me to spend money on it. Um. Let me see. Um, what about you, L Boogie? I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. Um, the question was, what is what announcements that you're most excited to see next month? I just want to see E3. I'm always like, y'all. We ask this every year, and every year I say the same thing. I just want to see what they got. Show me what you got. Just show me. Yeah. Yep. And show me some gameplay. And that's the part. That yeah. that part. Gameplay. Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, El Tuck, question. Have you heard any of the new Halo Infinite rumors? I.e. it's just being another Halo game overhyped. I I, I don't I don't listen to it. I just want to be blind as possible when I play it. So I tend to sway away from the rumors, especially with Halo Infinite. I guess for me, as far as Halo, um, I'm, I'm one of the rare ones I did enjoy. The, I'm not so much the story of Halo 5. But I like the gameplay. To me, the gameplay mechanics was really well done and the graphics were fantastic. So, I mean, we know, I personally know that 343 is a capable studio. So I just can't wait to, to see what they what, what they got. Like Boogie just said, show me what you got. That was gonna show it, show it. We ready to see it. Show more, we ready to see it. So, um, but yeah, we have to wait and see. No one no one truly knows, right? Um, I don't. I don't think if I mean, like, I hate when people say that it's just another Halo. Because if it's just another Halo, I'm happy, bro. Like, I love Halo. I love the lore. I love the gameplay. I love the characters. So, if it's just another Halo game, then cool. I'm with it. Okay. Um. Next question, Rain G4. Do you think, do you ladies think 343 will kill off Spartan uh, Lock? They shouldn't. I hope not. I hope not. I don't know. Like... I hope not. 
All right. Um, another one from Ray G Ford. Question: Should Xbox bring back custom soundtracks like the OG Xbox? C. Yes, yes, I wish they would do that. I mean, you can already do like background music and stuff. Like, you can play like your your Spotify while you're playing Forza and stuff. But I really wish that they would do something like built in, like they did back in the day in the OG Xbox days. I thought that was cool. Where you can back in the day when you could rip CDs and put your songs on games. I thought that was the most revolutionary thing at the time. And then like you go on that screen where the Xbox original screen is, and then you let that music play. The vibe, the vibe. Yes, it was definitely a vibe. Okay, let me see what other questions I got. Mitchie dies a lot. I see your question. Are you ladies going to play old, uh, play Psychonauts before the second ones come out? Yes, actually, I had started already started playing it um, a few months back. I hadn't, so I just got to jump back into it. But I definitely want to finish it before the new one drops, for sure. Um, I haven't never played it. If you're into so platformers, maybe. it's it's pretty it's pretty good. If you're into that kind uh, of thing. Okay. All right. I I don't have any more no more questions. That's it. That's all, that's all we got. Yes, ma'am. Let me double check in case I miss. Let me double check in case I miss y'all. I'm, I'm checking too. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe after the show. Make sure we need to watch hours to be up real quick. Oh, Lady Foxfire. Sorry. Let's answer your question. Um, any new designs for your merch store? Any new Ooh. designs for the merch? Look, store. look at our, our model. Wondering if we got new stuff. Uh, look, at look at our uh, model. Uh, our model. Uh, <laughs> I got two. I got two of them that I just haven't released yet. So uh, I don't know. I I'm in hesit- I, I'm not satisfied with them, and I'm so picky, y'all. So it's crazy. But I definitely want to release the one that um. Oh my gosh, Boogie! I'm blanking on his name. Uh, okay. El Boogie. Uh, uh, which one? El Boogie. Uh, what's his name? Oh my God! I'm gonna look at him. It's driving me crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boogie's not. She don't even know. Probably know what I'm talking about. I want to say Mero, something like that. What's his name? Oh, the the oh crap! I know he because he does he my did a design art. Oh my God! Yeah, he did a design. De Niro Primero. De Niro Primero. Thank you. Yes, he he did a design. A beautiful design. For growing with me gaming, I definitely want to uh, release his design. It's was one of our t-shirt arts, so I definitely want to drop that one. But there's also another one that I've been working on that I just haven't, I haven't more hundred percent been satisfied with yet. And it's the only reason why I haven't dropped it. So stay tuned because we got two. This should be can we can we do a toxic positivity t-shirt? Girl, we can do whatever you want. It's our story. Just tell me what, tell me the idea you got. <laughs> can we do first of all? No, I got petty shirts. Uh, I got petty shirt designs. <laughs> yeah, first of I got all. Pe- I got petty shirt designs. I don't know if you want to no, do that, we, but we I got. Have a, we can have a petty section in the store then. Be like, you know, petty Ooh. phrases or something. Let me know. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about yeah. it. We can talk about it. We can talk about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me uh, work my way up. Um, other thing. What do you guys think of Rich Review Tech apologizing for Sony? I don't know. What was the apology? I asked, him the, I asked the, you know, I asked what. What's the apology about? I didn't see any elaboration. He, he didn't see any elaboration. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I don't know. Cause like, I don't, I'm not familiar with that. So I, I, I do games, and that's it. And, and you know, the console. Y'all, not saying you, other thing. I'm saying y'all as other people, they want to go deep, deep inside, you know, analytics and all that. And I really, I heard of the name before Review Tech, but I don't, I don't. Like I am not YouTuber, a you know, Yeah, I think he is. I, yeah. I think he is. I think he is. Um he's got like he's closing in on a million uh, subscribers. He's pretty pretty popular. Um yeah. but he talks about the gaming news. Um he try to be fair. He tries to be played a mineral role, you know. He tries to be fair. But I haven't heard this new thing that you mentioned about an apology, so I wish someone would give us some detail on it in the chat so we can kind of at least try to answer the question. Okay. All right then. Um, don't worry. We we got you. I'm I'm, I'm thinking of a, a lady Foxfire. I'm thinking of a lookbook, and it'll be great to have people who bought our stuff to be on a lookbook. Yeah. That's just you know that'd be a great for the lookbook. Um, Elta, question: How many watch hours are we short? We gonna let some of these shows run while I grind <laughs> on Destiny today? Okay. Oh wait wait wait, Elta Elta, what, what you doing in Destiny today? Because I I might pop on now. Get these down. 200 score up. Um, oh, okay. um, I we're really we're like I think we're probably like if I had to guesstimate, are we like a 
under like a little over 100 short? I think so. Because I know at one point it was 200. Keeps getting less. I'm sending them a note right now. Like, this is getting annoying as hell. Like, I feel like every time I go in here, it's getting like it's 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 saying that we're at like 600 and something now. Like, what's going on? That's not right. Right. How's it going backwards? That doesn't make any sense. Right. Like every month is going backwards and we're getting more viewers. So I don't know what, I don't know what YouTube is doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, we will try to, we, we need 600. That's what we need. We need 600 hours. You got to tap 600 times and watch the video. So That's what it is. We can't, well, we can't let it run. We can't let it run. We got to tap. You, you got to be 600 taps and the 600 watch hours. To be able to get that uh super chat and we're trying our bestest to be able to establish that but if we don't get the views we don't get the uh we, we just we just don't get it and as much as I, I try to promote as much well we well we try to promote as much as possible but i'm not gonna shove the show down people's throats i'm just i that that ain't been my forte and i'm not gonna do it but i if you want to know that's your answer i mean i'm keeping it a hundred but we're getting close and I'm 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 hopeful that hopefully by the end of this year we'll be able to have super chat available for us. But it, we it just can't be us. It gotta it's be y'all too. Yeah, it's going slow. So. It gotta be y'all. It gotta yeah, be y'all. We even thought about doing something else, like you know, possibly send up a Patri- way to Patreon or, or something else, you know, because we get it a lot. We get a lot of requests for it for like how can we donate to the show or how can we help y'all out or something like that. So we definitely wanna figure something out. YouTube is on another one. Um, that's no more questions, guys. That's it. That's it. Okay, cool. Well, then we go ahead and start uh, outros. Then um, I, I guess I'll go first and let you let you ladies uh, close out. So this is your girl Delala HD. You can follow me on Twitter Delala underscore HD and catch me right here every Saturday on Going with Gaming. We appreciate y'all We're rocking out with us. Thank you. Tell your friends, like and subscribe. You know how it go. And uh, we'll catch y'all next week. It's getting closer to E3, so we're excited. But uh, yeah, so go ahead and give your outro, Sharice. What can the people find you and whatnot? All right, it's your girl Sharice here. You can find me on Twitter. I'm always lurking in somebody's um, comments. I am on uh what am I on Twitch again Sheree C H A R E E C E. Yes, this is um I hope everybody has a good weekend. Make sure to wash your hands, make sure to wear your mask. We are trying to get to that point where we don't have to do this anymore. We're we're slowly getting there, people, slowly, but we're gonna do it. Just make sure, you know, stay six feet away from me and we'll be good. All right, go ahead. Uh El Booker, where can the people find you? All right, it's El Boogie 0208. You can catch me on Twitter or on Facebook Gaming or Twitch whenever I decide to do that. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, wash your hands, wash your ass, wear your mask over your nose unless you're vaccinated. Because <laughs> if you haven't heard yet, we get to go back to regular life. So That part. Oh. See? Oh. Moderna gang. Oh. Yeah, so, you know, get vaxxed. So, so uh, my question is this. Do you have a stream schedule? I do, but I haven't been following it. You know, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I, I, you know, I got a lot of life stuff going on, and yeah. my dad's here with me and stuff. So, you know, I don't like to be telling him you gotta be quiet. You gotta be quiet. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, what about you, uh, lady? Don't do you got a, a stream schedule? I do. And Sharice, y'all do. Y'all got stream schedules. Right? I, I sort of do. Yes, I do. So Sharice nice. be on at the ass crack of dawn. Too. <laughs> oh, Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, oh seven God. o'clock to about eight thirty ish. Um, I try not to go too far over it, but yeah, um, yeah, Monday through Friday. See, man, that's an interesting time. I'm not gonna go into that. Very <laughs> 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 interesting time. Uh, so yeah, um, lady. I would like to thank everybody that joined us today. We really appreciate y'all company while we talk mess about video games like we always do this weekend. Um, today, uh, you can check me at uh, Lady underscore Infamous four one five on Twitch. You wanna? We gonna play some uh, Warzone today on Black Gamers League, and then on the rotation, we have a uh, Resident Evil Village. We have Little Nightmares, and also we have Shaolin versus Wu Tang. And you can always check on my side piece, aka Twitter at Lady Infamous four one five. You guys have a wonderful weekend and. You know, kick some ass in some games. <laughs>